Guys, if you're looking for a sure way to store ammunition, gear, things like that, and you want something that's very durable, <laughs> nothing beats the U.S. military ammo tents. Uh, but there are a lot of different sizes. Of course, there's the 30 caliber, and then there's the 50 caliber, which we see a lot, you know, you see them at gun shows, uh, and all around, because they're so useful. And they're fairly indestructible. I mean, you can stand on them. I mean, they're waterproof. There's so many different things about military ammo tins that make them very appealing to use for storage. The only downside is that they're just kind of heavy because they are made of steel. But there's so many advantages to it that there's a lot of roles that these fit. Now recently at Sportsman's Guide, they wanted to send me some of these ammo tins to take a look at. They happen to have quite a few. And we're gonna look at some different sizes, not just the old traditional ammo tins, but some of the larger sizes. Because honestly, ammo tins to me are my go-to for storing my ammunition and for putting together car kits, survival kits. You're going hunting, you're going fishing. You've got everything locked down. It's not just a little old plastic box that can break. And if you're like me, you're tough on your gear. Now we have five different types here, but honestly guys, there's a lot more uh, options on the Sportsman's Guide website. Now the 30 caliber cans are the smallest, uh, but these are probably used as much, except maybe for the 50 caliber can, it, more than any other can. One of the reasons why it's so portable. You've got a grab handle here, uh, you've got a handle on the front, you can actually lift it this way, uh, but then also with your lid, just pop it, you can bring it open, and then if you want to, you can take this right off. It just locks right here. I mean, it's an ingenious system. Then we have a rubber gasket all the way around, which makes this waterproof. And so that really helps to keep things stored very well. Not only protects it, but also keeps it waterproof. Locks it down, I mean, it's solid. These are about 10 and a half inches in length. They're about seven inches in height, and they're about four inches deep. 50 caliber can is next. Now you'll notice there are markings on a lot of these. Even this has been blacked out where all the numbers are. The 50 caliber cans are 11 and a half inches in length. Uh, they're about eight inches in height and about five inches across. And this really is probably the most popular because you can get quite a bit in there. The 30 calibers weigh about three pounds. The 50 caliber cans weigh just under five pounds. One thing that's pretty cool too is they're stackable. Now this 30 caliber can has a small little groove to fit the handle, but you can stack 30 caliber cans, you can stack 50 caliber cans, and I've done that a number of times. Now this is a 40 millimeter ammo can, um, and I believe it's designated as PA120. It's 18 and a half inches in length, so it's pretty long. Uh, it's gonna give you a lot of capability. It's six inches wide, and it's just under 10 inches, 9.75 inches in height. Uh, and it weighs 14 pounds, so it's fairly heavy. Now one of the things about this one is it does have rubberized handles right here or pl hard plastic, but you have those same type clips here and back here. Now you have them on both sides, so you can just pull it straight off. You do have your rubber seal right here, so that's going to give you protection from the elements. This looks actually pretty good on the inside. You can see here, guys, you've got a ton of room. I mean, this would make a great bug out system. You could pack things in here and um, you know and it keeps it safe and secure of course you wouldn't want to bug out by carrying it but it'd be great for the car for the truck something like that i really like this size you have these little grooves on either side it just fits down in locks down and you're good to go then you see these sides right here you can actually run rods through here uh, and rods through the top so two guys can actually carry this if you have a lot of ammo in here but that's one of the reasons why they have these plastic handles. And then, of course, you can stack these. They have little ledges right here to be able to just stack them up however you need to. And again, there's paint. And, you know, they're a little rough around the edges, but these are government surplus. Now, next we have the 25 millimeter linked ammo can. Uh, this is PA-125. It's 13 and a half inches in height. It's 13 inches long, and it's about 5 inches wide. It weighs 13 pounds. Uh, and you do have handles on each side and they're spring loaded so you bring them up they pop right back down which is kind of neat because sometimes if you get them up like this and then you try to open it it locks like this so this way you don't have to worry about it it does have the places right here to run some kind of rod through it and then we have handles on the side and those are also spring loaded you gotta lift them up bring it out and it's only on one side but that way you can carry it 
this way if you need to. You can open it up on both sides, pull it open, and that's one of the reasons why these handles are great. You can grab hold of it as you pull the lid off. Again, we have the rubber seal that goes all the way around it. Uh, and then, of course, you have the inside. This one had a little bit of rust in it, and uh, I think it may have been left out or something. But one thing you want to do is take a little bit of silicone and put around that edge. And you can take it again, just like the 40 millimeter ammo can. Fits down in here and locks down. Once it's locked down, it is not going to come up unless you pull these, and they are really close to the sides. And last, but certainly not least, in fact, it's the largest. It's the PA-156. This is an 81 millimeter mortar ammo can. <laughs> and it uh, looks like this one may have been over in Iraq or something because it has some of the brown colors, a little bit of camo on it. And of course, there a lot of the details are marked out. This can is really large. It's 22 inches in height and it's 12.75 inches in length and it's five inches across. Uh, it weighs 20 pounds. So just the can itself is 20 pounds. That before you put anything in it, has handles on either side. It has those same kind of places or tubes that go on the side as well. So definitely a solid can. Take both sides, pop them up. If you have trouble getting it off again, you just grab this handle, pull it, pull it right off. Got the silicone in here. This one looks almost brand new on the inside. Guys, you have a lot of storage space in here. You can really pack a lot in this one. Uh, it's very tall and deep. You got to reach down in it, but there are definitely good applications for this can. Then put your lid back on, lock it down, grab the handles, and you're off to the races. Of course, you may need to see a chiropractor after lifting this one too much. <laughs> Now I had these set out to do the review and we had a really massive rainstorm. Uh, in fact, it was lightning, it was crazy. And uh, you can even see where the mud kind of splattered up on these. We're gonna look to see how waterproof they are. There's that gasket that's in there, so these should be sealed. And so we're gonna go ahead and check it. I'll just go ahead and start with this one. Dry as a bone. Here you can see the rubber seal all the way around it. Check this 30 caliber can. Oh yeah, it's super dry. As far as prices go, these run $10.99, these are $15.99. I think these come in some two packs, which make it nice for shipping. This one is, I believe, $21.99 and then $20.99 and $22.99. So really these big ones, the price difference isn't that much. It's more or less the size and the shape that you're looking for. Uh, and of course they do weigh and that's gonna kind of bring in to your shipping cost. But you can go to Sportsman's Guide website and check all that those details out. But again, guys, there's a ton of other different options, not just these. And from what I understand, they have quite a few. But I'll tell you, they get gone quick. Uh, you know, once these things get out, people are looking for these ammo cans because they are bulletproof, waterproof, shockproof. I mean, you name it, man. These things will go through it. I mean, they've been through combat, so they should be able to go through whatever you can throw at it. And I've got ammo tins that I've had for 30, 40 years, and they still hold up really well. And guys, I have a video on the Sensible Prepper channel about why I buy ammo cans, and I'll have that annotated right here above. Uh, there are so many different reasons, guys, and this is my go-to source. And guys, sometimes these things sell out quick. So go to Sportsman's Guide, check out their selection, and I uh, think you'll find what you want. And again, I want to thank Sportsman's Guide for sending the ammo tins for this review. Uh, it definitely gives me a lot more options. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. These are 10 inches in length, they're six and a half. No, they're not, they're bigger than that. Now these are the smallest of the bunch. Get out of here. You can fill them with sand and lift weights.